Good morning and welcome to Pigment Gallery Barcelona. My name is Ferran Josa and I'm the director and founder of this gallery. My story began a long time ago. I was director of one of the oldest active galleries in the world. In 2016, I decided to open Pigment Gallery. I had the experience and I had the knowledge of what I wanted to do. I had the opportunity to have the artist I wanted to work with. And now we have two galleries in Barcelona, one gallery in Palma de Mallorca, and we're opening a new gallery in Paris on the next months. I want to thank Citibank for having this cooperation on preparing a selection of works to exhibit to your clients. And I invite you to come with me and see the works we have prepared for you. The driving force behind Pigment Vision, I think it's the mix of their artists and their own styles. We have a clear artistic line departing from modern figuration to complete abstract. The title of this work is Ukiyo, and in fact, it's based on the Balinese word Rami, that means chaotic and beautiful at the same time. The technique that Rosa uses is quite a complicated technique. She always departs and you know from where, but you don't know where she's gonna finish because she cannot see what she's doing. So when the work is finished, we can see if it's really a good work or she has to begin again. It's very important and you can see the transparency of the painting because Rosa always work in two dimensions. In Pigment Gallery, we work with more than 80% women artists. So for us, it's a usual way of working. In that show, we present three women and two men. And it's just a natural, organic selection. Let's talk now about the work of this artist, Marta Fabregas. Marta, she's a young photographer and she has created this series called Colonize. Marta thinks that women have been colonized all around the world, from men, from money, from power, whatever. And what she wants to do, she wants to give back the dignity to those women. And the first step is looking in internet images of women that she might thought that had this, that problem. Departing from the original image in black and white, the first thing she does is to add color to the photo. You can see it all over there. In the meanwhile, she prepares those watercolor papers with resins, with glues, with bases. And from the photograph to the watercolor paper, she transfers the image. We go now to this work from the artist Penelope Clot. Penelope, she's a 45 years old artist living in the north of Catalonia, in the Pyrenees, and is the latest artist we found to be part of the pigment team. I discovered her just a few months ago, and now we are working very hard. What Penelope can show us is her very unusual technique. It is done step by step. First, producing this patina with plaster and colored pigments. After that, what Penelope does is create the themes and mix them. And then what we have is those textures, those colors and the shapes. 
And she can really make very different things, always in a geometrical technique and theme. David Morago is a young artist, 45 years old, established in Madrid, and he's the son and the nephew of other two great artists here in Spain. I made David Morago a long time ago, and we began to work. And last year was the first time we presented a piece from him in the LA Art Show. It was another white shark, huge, three meters long, on wood, an original piece. It was sold in the five minutes after the opening of the art fair. And a lot of clients came after and asked us if there were any opportunity to buy another piece from him. We decided with David then to produce this wonderful engraving done with the highest quality we can work with him. It's done in Madrid. The shark, it's made in an old school way. And then what is very, very important here is that it's a series of 25. You will see that it's done in four different pieces with two different papers, one cotton paper and one Korean paper of 28 grams. As well, David works handily and differently all the spots, the color spots that you see, and that makes every single piece a unique monotype. This piece made almost three meters. It will be presented this year in the LA Art Show for the first time. Let's change register and let me introduce you the work from Alberto de Udaeta. Alberto is a Spanish artist. He only works in sculpture, 73 years old, and he's living here in Barcelona. We present Alberto's work last year in LA with a lot of success. And now we are presenting you the Derelicto, this beautiful piece done in cast iron. And it's done ensembling the different parts of a boat that has arrived to a beach. Alberto likes to pick all them and make a whole a unique structure, harmonies, and with this beautiful material. What is very important is that Alberto always thinks in big. So that means that you will find this piece on your virtual exhibition with the real size that will be like five times the size you are now watching it. The vision of this show is a good representation of what pigment does. If we analyze what we have shown here, you have paintings, you have sculptures, you have photographs, and you have as well engraving. This is, for example, one exhibition I could hang on my gallery for a collective exhibition, and it will function perfectly. Mm -hmm. 